Oh. Hi, welcome to episode 601. I've got stuff to fix. Steak knife, can you be repaired? Diamond sword. There we go. Too expensive. That is sad. Okay. Undying axe, I need you back. Thank you. Devil's toenail, come with me. Thank you. Jackhammer, I don't remember you, but come with me. Thank you. Dismember the... Ooh, the fire poker. All right, steak knife. Man, this is an old sword, but you've done your time. You have a little bit of life left in you, but I'll let you rest now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How's that possible? I've never retired a sword before? There's... What? That's actually mind-blowing to me. That's... The steak knife is my first retired sword. How? Interesting. Okay. Speaking of swords, not really. I can finally talk about the mace. Minecraft needs this, and I'm super excited. This is what I've been wanting in Minecraft for a long time. Lots of different options for weapons. I've wanted a spear in the game, for example, but this kind of covers that, if you think about it. It's you again. The past two episodes. It's always a zombie with a golden helmet and sugar cane in his hand. Literally, he appears in episode 599, he appears in episode 600, and he appears in episode 601. Are you gonna be in the next episode? I'm keeping this. But not only are we just getting a new weapon to hit mobs with, we're getting a weapon with a very unique design. The fact that the further you fall does more damage, but if you don't hit them, it'll kill you or cause you to get hurt is pretty exciting and is gonna cause a lot of high risk, high reward situations. And not only that, you have to build it yourself through gathering the breeze rod and the core. And the fact that the core is a decoration item that you could just place on something like the conduit. No, oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. That's just super cool. More decoration blocks. Okay, so apparently in this latest small update, they added it where you can get maps for the trial chambers. But I don't think I'm on the latest update. I didn't see it, but I checked it out anyway. The villagers, and I don't know if this is part of the new update or part of the new villager rebalancing, but I've never seen these. Actually, kind of interesting. Taiga village map? And I'd hate to complain this early, but, um... Why on earth do I have to buy these maps over and over again to move up this much? The only other option is this, and it moves up that much. Do I really have to buy, like, ten of these maps to just unlock this? <laughs> What's this look like? Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I'm gonna hang this up in the house. Who are you? Where am I, you ask? Yeah, that's right. I'm under my lab. I'm getting rid of the torches, the miles and miles of torches. Oh my god, where am I gonna put all these? But yes, as I've mentioned recently, I thought about retiring this place, but no, 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 no. The lab is far from retirement. I had to go get my other pants. My good old cargo pants because that's swift sneak. But I want to do something special for episode 601. And that is, where do those go? Are they just going to appear right before my eyes? Oh, my game does that every once in a while. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my computer or not. Well, what I'm trying to say is, is we are going to finish the lab today. That's right. Finish the lab. Well, quote unquote finish. How bad is this going to look? Oh my God, it looks awful. I don't know how to fix this. What is that? Why do those look weird? Stop being stupid. There. What the? You gotta be kidding me. It, is it because of those up there? How have slabs looked this bad for two years? How do they not fix this? Am I gonna have to replace the whole floor with full blocks? Oh my god, that looks... Wait! Why is it these blocks, but not these blocks? Well, I think I found the solution to our problem. I have to use full blocks. Or place torches everywhere where there isn't a torch. Looks better and it's very bright, but I don't want to do that. Lab is turning out good. I am collecting quartz for the floor and I found this staircase in the nether. Where does it go? Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. Is this really the portal to here? Oh, my God. It already feels like it's been so long since we've been here. I left a lot of good stuff here, too. I actually really miss this place. I'm gonna take those ink sacks. Take those iron bars. There's one thing I want to check up on. I completely forgot I have a donor villager out here. 
Hey, what's your name again? Adam Dillmore. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you back home eventually. Oh, thank God. I need to build one of these at home. Oh, my lovely lighthouse. And the Christmas tree. I'm stealing a present. This is a view I never really got of this place. Okay, to give you an idea of what I've been working on so tediously, as you can see, this looks more... It's darker, of course, but it looks more pleasing to the eye because it did look like this. And what I do is... <laughs> I actually go through every spot you see a lighting error on a slab. I get rid of those slabs, throw down a piece of dirt, and just put full blocks. That's all. I honestly can't believe that I have to do this. Like, this just wasn't fixed, but here we are. I miss the lab, and like I've stated before, this is the biggest reason I have not been in here. And I apologize ahead of time, this video might be a little bit later than usual. I've actually been working on my motorcycle. It's been put away for a year and there's been lots of problems with it. I've already dumped like $350 into parts for it. But I'd love, love, love to bring back some moto vlogs on my second channel, which I'm gonna attempt to do again. Maybe travel places and do fun stuff. Why am I doing this? It's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> That's why. Oh my God. I forgot about this room. Oh, and I liked this room being light. Oh my. And I know this one's a nightmare because I've went through many different, look at this awkwardness. I was going to dig down lower at one point, but then I didn't want to. Then I put slabs because I didn't want mobs to spawn. And now there's torches here. Is it looking better? Ignore the office. Uh, that has some of it too. But uh, yeah, it just really gets rid of that checkered pattern. I got rid of all the torches. I'll give you an idea of what it looked like without the torches in here. It just creates kind of like this weird shadowed effect. But now that it's all solid blocks, and yes, I'm reusing the slabs, I just double stack them in some areas. It's shadowy in some parts, but it's much easier on the eye now. Oh, I still have a little bit to go. I got a feeling this is gonna be a long episode. I got this hallway to do. I don't know how much I got that way, but uh, yeah, I said I'm finishing this lab today. So we gotta put a ceiling up here, finish this ceiling. I believe this is just gonna be a dead end. Also, figure out what I'm finally gonna do with this. I always thought I was gonna expand over here, but I guess I can just turn this room into something. Oh, I have a piston door here. We're doing this. I have a goal. You here for- Huh? I was talking. You here for a job? Huh? Look at that, he's selling a pickaxe. That's a first. That's pretty cool. Stop selling huh? that. I said stop selling that. Okay, this hallway is- uh. Ah, oh, see? Okay, that's what I keep catching, and then I'm like, that bothers me. I'm gonna fix it right now. Ugh, give me that. There we go. I know this hallway has it all over the place, but I'm not too concerned about these hallways. Maybe I'll fix, fix it in the future or something, but... Yeah, this is done. I completed all the ceiling, got dirt over it. Um, I got all the signs up. This is gonna be skeleton research. It's gonna be powder studies. Every powder in the game I want to put in here. Oh, wait, I'm finishing the place today, so I gotta do that. Well, quote unquote finishing. This is office administration, and this, I still don't know what to turn it into, so we're just blocking it off for now. Got this front room finished. I finally fixed those trap doors. Ha, <laughs> look at me. Getting stuff done. Ah! Ah, I almost missed it. Emerald Research. One of the oldest projects in this lab, and I've ne- No, I'm doing it now. We're finishing this place. There we go. And just like that, this room is finished. Was it that hard, Dallas? How many years? Probably like five, six years. <laughs> okay, power core room. We're gonna have to go down there. Room signs, piston doors, fixed blast chamber. I was gonna put a piston door here, a three by three, but it was getting overly complicated for some reason. And I don't even want a piston door here because it'll block them if I ever have to use them, which one day I think I will. You never know, but yeah. If you didn't know what this is, I just run in here and grab that. I think I explained that in my world tour last episode. <laughs> okay. This room, finally, let's freaking fix this thing. Oh. I had the three by three door right here I could have copied. All right, what did I do here? A lot, okay, Jesus, Dallas. Turn these lights back on. Close her up. The lights work, natural light. Yeah, yeah, natural light works. And flip it once this time. 
Yeah. Yeah. Shouldn't blow it up because it's very resistant. Did I write that down? I didn't write that down. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Did I really do that back in 2021? It was probably 2022, but... All right, we can continue testing blocks in here. <laughs> All right, next up is the cremation room. This has always been waiting to have a piston door on it. Just, just add it. Okay, I'll do that. I'm talking to myself now. I am going insane. Where did I just put that? Get out of there. Boom, 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 boom. All right, there we are. Autopsy and cremation. Authorized personnel only. Finished. Running through, getting all my signs up. Office, we got a classroom C. It is empty, but we can turn this into a small classroom. I'm gonna call this classroom B because maybe this is where you go to learn hands-on. And this is, of course, this has always been classroom A. And I replaced that old blue board I had with this white, actual whiteboard, and it works perfect in here. It makes me wanna make actual, you know what? We might do that. I wanna make proper big classrooms. Maybe that can be an expansion somewhere. Okay. I guess the next thing I'm gonna tackle is the power core. Yes, this place is not finished, such as the glass here, the ceiling. As you can see, I got very close. I added in all of the walls, but literally that's it, I guess, is the ceiling. Okay, oddly enough, we're actually getting close to done. This is actually surprising me. I thought I had so much to do, which we still have a little bit to do. I just, uh, I just threw a lot of stone brick and glass in. This is why this place was never finished. I couldn't really picture what I wanted it to look like. Like, I'm honestly not even that crazy of a fan of this anymore. That's why it's been through a lot of different changes, but I'm not gonna change it, I guess. I'll keep it. Call this a backup generator in case that goes down. We could add more pipes in here. But when I'm talking about complete the lab, I'm talking about like the whole outer shell. Got all the signs updated down that way. Now we do have extra rooms like this. I basically just block them off for future purposes. Actually, I wouldn't mind making a new lab room soon. All that is updated down this way. It's looking a little bare. We could add some stuff over here. I called this the metal machining room because I just got lathes in there. And that's the laser cutter room. Now this right here is what I was thinking of. There's been a hole here forever. I called this Atlas Research because it's just a big map room. I gotta figure out what to do with this. Collecting this much quartz is definitely bringing me back to the lab building days, that's for sure. I'm gonna play one of my favorite games. That is going to the random portal I find. <laughs> I don't know what this is from, so. Guess we're gonna find out. Don't kill me. Oh, a chest. Mediocre loot. What is this place? Oh, I know. I instantly know what this is. This is one of the first portals we took when we got the new Caves and Cliffs update. And as you can tell, we popped out right next to a mountain, which was pretty nice. You know what? I'm tired. Or should I keep playing that game? Or... You know what? I'm doing it. I always kind of wants to know what portal it is, so I'm gonna start labeling these. Luckily, we have wood in the nether now. I forgot my ender chest. Oh, man. I just realized I haven't done this floor yet. Oh, but anyway, um, I'm making this area now. So this might look familiar. As you know, this used to be the abandoned section. I had a big, like, couple vault doors down there. I'm gonna do the same here because whatever I'm working on in here... That's a secret, you don't need to know. Private studies. Another event like that could happen with an infection spreading, so we'll have a shutter here just in case. But uh, yeah, I went through a couple different designs for this bridge. I had like a glass floor at one point, but it looked weird, so I'm just gonna have some simple windows here. But uh, yeah, it'll lead into this lab section that I'm kind of doing a unique color design, and I'm kind of digging it. And I'm going for a more cramped lab. So as you know, this is all open and wide and big, but I want it to feel very cramped in here. I have a somewhat low ceiling and I'm gonna have pipes and wires lining the ceiling and some of the walls. I'm working on this tunnel right here, right now. Let's see how far I can take this. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm still working in here a little bit. As we head into this area, I want it to sound advanced with some sort of technology. So back here, oh yeah, I got a little piston door here. I kind of like this one. Back here, I want to be somewhat like a server room. And I am gonna put a purpose back here, but I want it to sound like a server room. So when we think of all the blocks in the game that make a sound, that's the conduit. I like that one, but it kind of has a heartbeat sound to it. There's the beacon. 
which I do like the beacon, but it is quite expensive to use since I don't fight the wither a whole lot. And then I thought to myself, instead of using one of those expensive blocks, why not just use a little redstone clock to make ticking sounds? So I made a little clock in my test world and it's just constantly that tick sound with no break in between. But if we head up here, if you remember this, we used to have flickering lights up here and I turned it off and I think what, I don't know if I should turn it back on. What's this? Okay, so those were the items on the inside and here it is right here. Just this simple little setup. This sword, it's a non-stackable item, I believe is what will make it flicker. So all four of the items juggle back and forth through here at random. And when the sword decides to go in, it'll send a signal to this and then send a pulse. So I believe I'm gonna rebuild this over there and make it hit either a dropper or that new crafter block to make certain sounds. What the? Did I cover it up? Was that? Oh, it's the wrong one. <laughs> well, that's an interesting logo. What was that? Did you hear that? There's a weird sound. Yes, I am trying to, I spent way too much time on this, trying to figure out. It's just, no blocks are a little bit too loud in this game. I feel like maybe they should have an interface, you know, like a crafting table, and then there should be a slider dictating how loud the block will be. Because these are just a little bit too loud, like I can hear them way over there. I really wanted just little beeping sounds behind this wall, um, which I'm okay with. I just used that same thing I showed you. There's one block in here, or I mean one stackable item in here, two hoppers together, comparator, this is a dropper. And to try to lower the amount of times, I put a lot of all stackable items in here except for the sword. And every time the sword enters this hopper, it sends off a signal over here. And there's emeralds under all three of these blocks, so it's kind of expensive, but I liked the sound. If I ever get annoyed by this, I did add this so I can just turn it off. Um, yeah, this is that hallway I worked on. I found a way to use these. I think this is kind of a cool effect. Adding some pipes up there. I'm getting a little carried away with this though. I expected myself to build more, but I gotta get this episode out today. I did, oh no, I didn't finish this. Actually, I think I do have enough quartz. Maybe I can finish this, but I think the lab is like pretty much fit. No, 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 no. I gotta finish this glass right here. And the outside, okay, that's my goal now. This room can be worked on in another time. I gotta finish the lab lab. Yeah, this looks ugly on the outside. Oh, and by the way, you can hear another sound, and I really do like the sound of this. This is just a simple item hopping back and forth through those hoppers, but the sound of this kind of sounds like a clock. I could probably slow, like an actual ticking clock. I could probably slow it down to match seconds better, but I like that. What was I doing? Oh. I need to take these pants off. I did finish that bridge, it is finished, um, but I came back home because there's a lot of stuff I had to catch up on. Look at this I found, by the way. That's a cool map. Why is this map not hanging up in my house? I'll find somewhere to put it. But I gotta go put away a book real quick because now we have the episode 600 book. This is like a weird weight off of my shoulders knowing that the lab is pretty much finished. Oh, okay, so I do write the books. 450, 400, 350. 59, why'd I do that? 300, all the way back to, oh, I just called that one book number one. Okay, we could write this book. How did I do it? By Dallas Med 65, original, haha. <laughs> Wait, so that means I can copy that book, correct? You see, I wanna do that just in case. I wanna have backups of backups. I just don't know how to do it. Sign, author, Dallas Med 65. There we go, add it to the collection. <laughs> And while I'm here, I'll answer the first one. It was hard to find a question on last episode. because There's just so many nice comments. That episode's already got 100,000 views. That's pretty nice. It's just odd seeing for my channel since my views have dipped so much, but usually world tours do that. But from HitScript, can you still get achievements on your world? <gasps> no, and there's a reason why, and I've tried to fix it, but I believe, was it due to, I think it was due to, it was either due to this or another thing that happened. I think it was due to this right here. The void that crashed in my world or the reset of chunks. If you're new here, right down where you see this snow path, that's why I have such an awkward patch of snow right here. This is just a big chunk that got turned into an ocean through my world. And I started repairing it in survival mode with my dirt in my chest, but I just depleted my dirt supply. And I'm like, you know what? This was a bug that happened. I'm going to switch to creative mode, put all my stuff in a chest and just give myself 
heaps of dirt and bone meal and stuff and try to repair this as best as I can. And I did. I have this application on my old laptop where you could go in the settings of your world and switch that you've been to creative mode back to survival mode. And I'd do that when I'd have to fix game breaking bugs. Where's all my glow dye? Or maybe this was when I had my new laptop. But anyway, what I'm trying to get at is I tried to put my world in there recently, but th I think it was just too big or something. It would not save every time I tried to export my world after I changed that. So yeah, now we've been stuck in, has been to creative mode and achievements cannot be earned in this world, which is pretty disappointing because I can't do achievement time anymore. I'm trying to find somewhere to put this map. I don't know. We got another map there. Should I put it next to it like that? No. Well, I'm trying to find a place to do this. I am going to thank some donors because I have quite a few to thank because it's been a while since I've said thank you to these people all the way back. Yeah, since the 6th? Whoa. Has it really been that long? It has. I know there's been kind of a big gap between the World Tour era, but yeah. We're right back to upload. And thank you to Phoenix with this massive donation, by the way, all the way back from the 6th. I thank you so much. You made it in the Villager book, of course, and... Well, eventually the wall, once I get that going again. And Zach plants with a one, two, three, four, five. Holy moly, Zach, you did not have to do that. You know you didn't have to do that, but you did anyway. And that is very thoughtful. <laughs> I'm trying to get good at remembering where all these names are. I think Zach is, I have the book right here. What, oh, oh yeah. You're in the new slime science area, but you haven't been, I don't think you have. Anyway, thank you, Zach. That's a lot. <laughs> and Dominic F Dominic Flinnegan. That's a cool name. Thank you for your dono. And Bailey Eccleston. That's a cool name as well. Thank you. And Ryan Browning. Sorry, did I scare you? Did that scared me? Where can I put this at? Ryan, thank you again. <laughs> See, I always so... Oh, that looks nice. I always feel so guilty when, like, some of these people donate so much. I feel like I continuously have to do things for them if, and if i don't i feel like such a bad person <laughs> so i truly hope you guys don't think that way and i appreciate every cent that you guys donate ryan thank you so much for that ryan's already in this book like three times insane <laughs> and adam dill wait we just saw you this episode wait a minute ignore the date there i might have been in the past but it seems like you are trying to persuade me to get you off of that island <laughs> adam thank you so much for that <laughs> Adam, did you know that you're on that island? Sometimes people might miss when their villagers are put out, I feel like. How do I get in here? I can't get in through there anymore. That's what it looks like, by the way. I just put like a cool dome type roof over it. I need to get rid of this trailer. And I'm also trying to figure out where to expand this highway. So as you can see, it just leads into nothingness. It leads to the waste badlands area. No man's land, that's what it is. Where do I take it from here? Thanks for that, Adam. I really appreciate it. And David Hartman, that's a new face. Made it in the villager book and on the wall eventually once I get that going again. Thank you, David. Maybe you'll be the new scientist of our new division of the lab. We'll be working in here a lot more. I miss this place. And Vincent Isaacs. Thank you, Vincent, for that. I need to put a guy in here, too. There's so many empty rooms in this place that I'm not taking advantage of. What's this? Oh, what's this? Oh. I was marking down all the blocks. I love the fact that I'm getting back into the lab. I just really like this idea. I, I miss this place. But uh, thank you everyone for watching. I'm going to end it here. Dang it, I forgot to put out a villager somewhere. Okay, I'll put out like three next episode. How about that? Let me turn this back on. Let me hear it one more time. Oh, I'm I talked over it. Let me hear it one more time. Ah, I don't like that. I still need to mess with it. It doesn't sound computerish enough. How about now? Does that sound good? Okay, no. I really need to mess with that. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.